conserve, pr preserve, and promote. That's the mission of the Southside Community Arts Center. WGN's Gaynor Hall tells us the center received a new grant to support its work highlighting black artists. Well, the Southside Community Arts Center has been one of the best kept secrets on the South Side. We're here in the Brownsville community and I think it's a treasure. At 38th in Michigan, the Southside Community Arts Center is a Chicago landmark. The center opened in 1940. As a way and a place for black artists to come together because there really wasn't any place for them to show their works. One of the founders, artist, activist, educator, Dr. Margaret Burroughs. So she was just that formidable woman who believed in the power of art. The center was initially sponsored by the New Deal era Works Progress Administration and First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt attended the dedication. Art is a way for us to capture history. And I love art because it allows you to see history through various forms. Monique Brinkman Hill took over as executive director two and a half years ago. In addition to being around 81 years, we've amassed an amazing collection of over 500 pieces of art. And they just received a $75,000 grant to help preserve and digitize the work of black women artists in the collection. The center was one of eight Chicago-based organizations receiving grants through this round of the Donnelly Foundation's Broadening Narratives Initiative. It not only is a place that shows exhibitions and does programming, but it's always been a place where artists hang out. Ellen Wadey says the foundation is aiming to amplify collections that showcase stories that haven't been told enough. So for us, the ultimate goal is to get those narratives into the conversation so that we really do understand all of those things about who we've been, who we are now, and where we could go. Southside Community Arts Center is preparing to open a new exhibit on April 15th, celebrating LGBTQ artists. It's open to the public and you can also become a member of the artistic destination, Brinkman Hill says, should not be a secret. That's part of our mission, conserve, preserve, and promote. And it's our legacy. And What's exciting is that in 81 years that hasn't changed. It hasn't needed to change. The mission hasn't had to change because it still matters. In Bronzeville, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.